A very good morning to our lecturer, Madam Wumi, and our friends. Today, our topic is legumes, grains, and pasta. Before we start our presentations, we like to introduce ourselves. My name is Heng Shi Jing. Metric number is two four eight one seven one. My name is Tam Pei Ying. Metric number is two four five eight four one. So let's start it. Hi, I am Pei Ying, and I and now I will define the following terms. Grain is a small hard seed or seed like fruit, especially that of only cereal branch as wheat. Rice, corn, and so on. Grits, grits is corn of after grains, soybeans, and others. Grits are eaten as porridge, as a side dish, and in casseroles. Semolina, semolina is the meal consisting of particles of coarsely ground hard wheat, used in making macaroni puddings. Breakfast and others, legumes. Legumes is any of an order of herbs, herbs and trees, including the peas, beans, mimosa, with usually compound leaves, flowers having a single capsule and fruit that is dry pod spreading along two structures. Kasa is created by wheat, wheat and others. Usually, kasa cook until soft and serve variously as porridge with mushroom. Kush kush is a North African dish made with crushed grain, often samarina, usually steam and serve as With ram or chicken in a spicy sauce, algen is English for specific purpose of pasta. Algen is cooked until firm to be big and chewy. Burger, burger also called burger wheat. Burger is created with grains often used in Middle Eastern dishes. Pills is any annual regime yielding from one to twelve grains of seeds of variable size, shape, and color within a pot and used as food for human and animals. Homini, homini is dry corn, also called mats, with the hill and germ removed and often coarsely ground. Homini grits is boiled for what? For food, pilaf. Pilaf is is a dish made of rice or wheat bread in a seasoned liquid like sauce and bread paper, and usually containing ch- chicken or sometimes fish. And the last is porenta. Porenta is cornmeal mush. Especially as you in Italian cuisine, as a main or side dish, sometimes containing cheese. Now I would like to talk about the major types of dry legumes. First, chips. They are two types of chips that can differ by their size, shape, and color. They see chips. The smaller variety are winked in appearance and may be brown, yellow, orange, red, or green in color. Kabuli chips, known for their nutty flavor, are long, round, and white to cream in color. Chips can be eaten as a vegetables. And easily added to salads, soups, and casseroles, or can be roasted to produce a crunchy nuts like snack. Second, beans. Beans are a staple in the region in dishes around the world. Different types of beans used for different flavors and textures. 
navy bees, also called haricot bees. They are small, over white bees that cook quite quickly. Navy beans commonly used to make commercial baked beans, and they also call the hard helper. Red kidney beans. They are deep red in color and shaped like a kidney. Red kidney beans also call the anti-aging agent. Black beans also call black turtle beans. They are black oval shaped beans and popular in Mexican and Brazilian dishes. Black beans also call the brain boosters. Soy beans. Soy beans contain complete protein and it also called the muscle builder. Third, peas. The field peas is one of the first crops domesticated by humans. Most of the peas produced in Australia are the dome type. Dome peas are deeper and greenish brown in color. Fresh or frozen green peas are commonly in eaten as a vegetable. Besides, whole peas are split to remove the hard outer coating and then broken into the two parts that naturally occurs as parts of cultivation. This makes them cook more quickly. Few peas can also be roasted to make a crunchy snack. Fourth, lentils. The lentils is one of the oldest fruit crops known. Lentils don't need to be soft period to cooking. Lentils are usually so split, which means they have been split down the middle to the natural half of the seed. Red, yellow lentils and red lentils, they are small and loud and commonly used in soups and Indian curries. Green lentils, they are larger than other lentils and have a flattened shape. Studies so work well in slow cooking. French lentils, they are small and dark green with a deep early flavor. They can take longer to cook but now I would like to talk about the major types of grains. Grains are small, hard, and edible dry seeds. They grow on grass like plants called cereals. Cereal grains are the world's single biggest source of food energy. They are staple food in most countries and provide more food energy worldwide than any other food group. Grains have played a major role in human history, and grain agriculture is one of the main advancements that fuel the development of civilization. They are eaten by humans and also used to feed and fatten our livestock. Grain also can be processed into various different food products. The most commonly consumed types of grains are wheat, corn, oats, barley, and rice. Wheat, wheat is the most widely calculated cereal crop in the world. Wheat has come to be a firm favorite grain because of the diversity it provides in culinary applications. Wheat, wheat is low in fat, most of which is unsaturated fat, so wheat has been have bring a lot of benefit to us in our life. There are two types of wheat are commonly used in our life is bread wheat and durum wheat. Bread wheat used to produce most other wheat based foods. However, durum wheat used in the manufacture of pasta. Corn. Corn also known as mess. One of the sweetest Tasting grains. Corn is unique in that it cannot reproduce itself. Its seeds cannot be released because they are tightly wrapped around the ear. So, wild corn has never been found in the world. 
Corn is high in high carbohydrate and dietary fiber. Corn can be eaten fresh as vegetables with each boil and steam. Corn also can make in corn flour get sold in the supermarket and is in fake corn touch. It is used as the thickener in custard powders, dishes, mixes, and sauces. Corn grits is used for breakfast cereals such as corn flakes, baking products, and snack foods such as corn chips. Popcorn is made from a corn variety which has a very dark outer covering so that it explodes when heated. Oats Oats are a whole grain food and commonly eaten for breakfast as oatmeal which is made by boiling oats in water or milk. Over the past few decades, oats have become a very popular health food. They are also included in muffins. Granero bars, cookies, and other baked foods. The possible health benefits of oats include reducing the risk of coronary artery disease, lowering levels of cholesterol, and reducing one risk of coronary cancer. Barley. Barley is a major cereal. Grain commonly found in bread, beverage, and various cuisine of every culture. A large population of the world body supply is used make beer. Mated barley is used in the production of alcoholic beverage such as beer and whiskey. Barley does, however, remain a staple food. For many people in less developed countries such as those in North Africa and in areas where wheat is difficult to grow. Barley fruits are barley grains that have been shortened to soften before being added to bake product. They may also be used to make porridge, milk puddings and breakfast cereals. Rice. I will pass this this part to my partner to talk about the common types of rice. Thank you. Morning. I'm Heng Shijing, and now I will presenting about rice. Rice is life for most people living in Asia, so it playing an important cultural role in many countries, and most of the people survive by depending on the rice. So why rice is playing a important role? Because it provides adequate nutrition for a healthy life. So rice can be classified according to the sites, which are long grain, medium grain, and also short grain. So long grain, as the name suggests, it sites like long and slim it will be fluffy and dry with the separated grains during cooking so next medium grain it's the size of white and it will be tender and stick together when cooked uh, so for example it will be coarserous and last short grain will be over round short and plump will sticky and clump together during cook so for instance we can cook sushi by using the short grain so this is the sample photo of grains the starting for left side is short grain medium grain and the next is long grain so you can see that short is the size of round and over mediums and the long is thin and long slim next will be type of rice actually rice has many types and different of rice but i will only pick the very common one so before that i will explain rice actually we know rice 
uh, the white rice right so uh for me i will eat white rice every day but here i will only pick the brown rice also known as hush rice it considered as more healthy than white rice as many vitamins and mineral as well as fiber it's more richer and nutty flavor so when you eat this brown rice it will be like chewy okay basmati rice is from long grain will not be sticky and also it will be separated when cooked so this type of rice uh, will be aromatic fragrant and also slender coming to method in preparing rice here i will choosing a rice cooker method in this light because i think rice cooker is the most simple and the very common method so at home we will always using rice cooker by cooking our rice even you did not have any experience you might watching your mom or your family to cook your rice by using this rice cooker here's only have four steps the first step is washing and rising the rice well until the water is clear so for my experience i will wash my rice for three or four times and the second step is add on the one per two cup ratio of water and again me i will put on my hand to measure the water if my water is over my hand so it can place it to the rice cooker and wait it after the cooking completion light has come on so the light will depend on the type of rice cooker some will green color some will be red color or orange color and the last step is after done after ready you can serve and enjoy it so coming to type of pasta so again i will only choose a very common pasta in my slide so here will be elbow macaroni this type of pasta is more special among of others pasta so it will be c-shaped tubes like a curve and will be cook best cooking for big dishes salads or soups if combining with cheese or butter sauces it will be the best combination angel hand also known as capellini it a uh, chinese and super fine type of the pasta it will cook and absorb the sauces in a very quick time so it will like a spaghetti but in more tint and pairing with the broths thinner broths and delicate cream sauce will be well to eat so the last one is bow ties Bow tie is also known as fafla, means butterfly. And you can see in this picture, it will be min- middle pinch and it look like a bow tie. So for example, like a guy wearing a bow tie. So it's same like this picture. And it's suitable to combine with the tomato sauce or cream sauce. Same like this picture. And it stands up very well in the cold pasta salad. So every time we eat food or pasta, spaghetti, we will prefer to eat 
at a very uh, hot or medium temperature but this type of pasta it will different if you eat cool also no problem common method in preparing pasta so before that i will explaining about how to cook the spaghetti because spaghetti is very simple and very common step to cook it you don't have to think very difficult it just you have to boil your water and put it on your spaghetti for and boiling for within 3 minutes and meanwhile you also can prepare your food for example like your ingredient what your favorite ingredient uh tomato salad f- fish or chicken meat add on what you want and also the garlic chopped onion and cook for until it cook and combine with your spaghetti so that's all for the steps and you only have to serve it So here will be macaroni and cheese. Uh, this method will be more difficult in co- if comparing with the simple spaghetti that I said just now. So here only four steps. This first step is heat oven to 200 Celsius and put it on gas six. Spread the melted butter and season it. Second step is boiling your pasta for 2 or 3 minutes same like the spaghetti one and meanwhile melting the remaining butter in a saucepan. Next will be add on the garlic, fine chopped onion and cook for 1 minute. Then gradually whisk in the meal until you have a lamb free sauce. And the last steps will be simmer for Within 5 minutes until the sauce is thickening. Off the heat and stir with the cheese, parmesan and cheddar. So cheese, parmesan and cheddar, you just add on how the amount you like. For example, like maybe you are a cheese lover, so you just add on how much you can. That's all from us. Thank you.